morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. Harry and I have been very busy. We went down to the um, storage unit, took all of our boxes and got those all stored away. So what I wanted to do today before we get started is share that today is a protein sparing modified fast high priority protein total carbs 10 grams total fat 30 grams move your body but you guys i am prepping for the week and i wanted to make something both sweet and savory for the week and i wanted to use the same uh egg white protein buttermilk bread recipe as my base when we were growing up and then as my kids were growing up excuse me um I used Bisquick. I used Bisquick for all kinds of things. And we used to make a sausage cheese. We called them pinwheels when we were kids. Um, and we also used to, on the weekends, my mom would make um, caramel rolls. And I'm gonna make pecan caramel rolls the way she used to make them, only instead of using the Bisquick, I'm gonna use my egg white protein buttermilk bread as the base for both. So I'm gonna do sweet and savory. So you guys, I've got stuff all put together. Let's get started. So I'm gonna make my regular um, egg white protein bread, buttermilk bread recipe. I will link that, pin it at the bottom. But there's gonna be three recipes. There's gonna be the bread, and then there's gonna be the um, sausage cheese, which is super duper easy. And then there's gonna be the caramel pecan, um, additives to the bottom of that so you guys can make either one or both like I hope to make today. I'm going to be moving quickly once I start doing this because of the egg white bread part of that. So I have my oven uh, right now set for 325. I have hot turkey Jenny O lean sausage. Because Harry and my taste buds are not up to par, I wanted to do something I knew would taste good, right? And sausage has tons of flavor. Get your favorite sausage and use it. We're going to do it raw. We are not pre-cooking the sausage. So I'm going to put the sausage into a container. I let this sit out to get un, uh, not cold. I don't want it cold. I want to be able to spread this. So I want to be able to spread it. I'm going to put gloves on because I'm going to mush it. I'm going to mush it together. Okay. So um, I've got one large egg. Large egg. You can use egg raw egg whites. You can use a raw egg. I'm just using an egg. Just putting that in to bind it with. I have Tillamook Sharp Cheddar Cheese. You can use the cheese of your choice, but this is what I have on hand. I am putting a cup of it in, about a cup of it in there. And then I'm just gonna give this a good mix, you guys. I'm gonna see if it's cheesy enough when I look at it, if this is gonna work. I'm gonna have enough cheese in there. Oh man, I can smell, you guys, I'm smelling stuff. I'm so excited. So hard to be crazy scientist in the kitchen when you can't smell. So I am just giving this a good mush. Get that cheese in there. And I use the thicker cheese because I want pieces of the cheese. You can use finer cheese if you want to, but I want nice thick pieces of cheese. And that's pretty much it. It's all we're gonna do. Now, for the filling, that's gonna be the filling part. Excuse me, Harry. On top, I have got three tablespoons of unsweetened butter. I mean, excuse me. I have three tablespoons unsalted butter. Unsalted, it is sweet butter, unsalted. I have a dash of garlic granules, a, doll, a dash of onion granules, a dash of Redmond Real Salt Organic Seasoning and a teaspoon of parsley. I'm gonna melt this together because we're gonna brush the top of our pinwheel with this and sprinkle some cheese on top when it's ready. But I wanna get this kind of all ready to go. 
so that I have it all ready to go. I'm going to add in my bowl, I have my water, one and a half cups of water. I have got a teaspoon of dry active yeast. I've got half a teaspoon of salt. I am putting in two teaspoons cream of tartar right there. Cream of tartar. Excuse me, Harry, I need to get to the butter. I don't want it to burn. I'm just going to sit that to the side and let the butter and the garlic and the onion all incorporate. It's just all going to incorporate there because we're going to be basting the top of the pinwheel with this mixture. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, setting that aside, putting my cheese aside. And I'm finishing my bread so I can get it started. I am putting in 120 grams of egg white protein powder. And we're going to let this mix for about five minutes. Start it on low, it on the splash, put my splasher on it. Put it on high for five minutes. I have six grams of whole yolk powder, six grams of butter powder, and nine grams buttermilk powder in here. I've got my mixer on low. I'm making my buttermilk bread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I am going to put a layer of dough on two separate parchment papers. Hold your ears. Excuse me. I want a thin layer, a thin, even layer of my dough on my parchment paper. I am going to par bake this. So we can use it and roll our ingredients up in it. So it would be like make, making a flat pizza sheet. Same thing. Want to evenly distribute it, get it even. You want to make sure you don't thin it out too much at your corners because your corners are uh, what you need to have the strength in order to roll this up. I don't want it too thin on the outside corners either. This one's weak. Yeah, it is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you want to see? If it tears, we're not worried. We'll be able to fix that. It's getting it thin enough that I'm worried about. Excuse me. This is my next one that I'm doing. Making two. One is going to be savory. One is going to be sweet. I used my same buttermilk bread dough 
recipe for both. These are both super duper easy, you guys. I used to make the Bisquick just like this, put it in the pan. All the steps that I'm doing, I used to do with Bisquick. Except there's no Bisquick. It's the buttermilk bread recipe instead. And that was a treat for us on Saturday mornings, huh, Harry? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this in the oven, take the magnets off, for about seven minutes and par bake it. Seven minutes. So that it gets solid enough that we can put stuff on it and roll it up. Now, while that's cooking, seven minutes, we need to check it at seven minutes. I've got the savory all ready to go. The sweet is super easy. I've got a quarter of a cup of crushed pecans in here. And I've got three quarters of a cup mixture of monk fruit golden and swerve brown. Swerve has a cooling effect, pure erythritol. So by adding the monk fruit and mixing them together so you've got half and half, um, that's going to nullify that. I also have in here one tablespoon butter powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. So this is going to be our sweet. This is going to be our savory. We'll come back when we assemble it on the sheets. Okay, this has been cooking for seven minutes, so I'm gonna take them out just to check them. I want them to be stiff enough, but malleable, pliable, that I can move them around on the sheet. That feels that feels like I'm going to be able to use it. Now, let me take a look at this because it has to be able to roll. That looks pretty good. Okay, here's what I am doing. I'm taking the sausage and the cheese mixture and I'm spreading it thinly on this, all over it. Just a nice thin layer. Oh man, does that smell good. Doesn't that smell oh, delicious? Yeah, I can smell that. I can smell that. I can, I can smell that. Leave yourself a little bit of an end so you can tuck it in. Kind of put it across so that you have it spread so you can see how thin you can get this. Yeah, don't you have to leave a couple inches at the end there? Yeah, so you do. You remember, it. you remember yes. watching the girls like this was one of the, the, the um, sweet one we're making is one of the first ones I taught the girls how to make in the kitchen. And then Felicia would surprise us. She'd get up early and she'd make our little biscuits. Yeah, she'd biscuits. make all kinds of nuts. nuts she nuts would out great. of, out of, um, and, the uh, uh, biscuits and Chad mixture. And Chad's not going there to devour everything. Yeah. Chad's our son, in case you guys didn't know. Yes. The girls would take turns at who got to make the biscuits on Saturday. That was kind of a Saturday thing for us. And we loved it. Bisquick was wonderful. Too bad, you know, we can't use it. Because, I man, I made all the things. All the things. Of course, that's probably why I'm fluffy today. Okay, so kind of press it down gently 
So it, it adheres to the dough, okay? Press that down, let me put this away to this side. Now, I'm gonna done. turn it, okay, come, come to this here. side, there you go. And I'm gonna carefully start to roll this Worry, I gotta just get it off and get it started. Mm. I wonder if the silicone would have worked better. The nice thing is because it's still like dough, look, it just it just forms because it's not cooked. It's not overcooked, so we can't form it. I'm not worried about it, Harry. Mm. Gotta fight it. Work with it. That's right, you gotta work with it. Work with it, baby. It's nice because it just squeezes together, back together nicely, you know, like real dough. It feels like raw Bisquick at this point which is quite interesting. It, it, it feels so bread-like, you know? Mm -hmm. It's reacting more bread-like. Dough consistency. Remember, everything's an experiment. I don't cook stuff beforehand and bring you only the pretty finished product. We're raw and live. Yes, indeed we are. I like that. But seriously, it, it just... I bet they look pretty when it's done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the dough off, exchange it with a piece of sil a silicon mat, excuse me, silicon mat here. This is so pliable at this point. That is what is the neat thing about this. Just to smush it up. Need a knife. I'm cutting up my pinwheels. This smell, can you smell the oh, Italian yeah. sausage? Oh yeah. I can smell. I'm, I'm, I'm having a... Pod loss? Yeah, a moment over here. We need to get them closer together. Well, these are gonna spread out a little bit because the bread hasn't finished cooking. Right. Let's see if I can get eight on here. 
without them getting too close together. These just look like the ones I used to make. I mean, seriously, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mine were a little bit better form just because it was Bisquick than this, but you guys, this is acting like real dough. This uh, little bit of baking that I did is giving it malleability that is really, really nice. Now, if I put this piece on there, I don't think I can do that. Can't you cut them apart if they grow together? Yes, you can, but I don't want to do that. So, I got one left, and that's just fine. I'm going to put all this over here. Well, let me see. Can I put it in the middle? If I put it in the middle, is that going to have an issue? These are going on really nice. Okay. Now, let me get this out of the way. Parsley, butter, garlic, onion. I'm just giving them a nice coat. Mm. And then you can save this butter for after even. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, you guys, these are going into the oven. I'm going to cook them for 25 minutes at 325. We'll check them when we're done. Get that started. Now, we're going to do the pecan rolls pretty much the same way, except make sure there's no pork on this. Pretty much making these the way I used to make them with this quick, you guys. Pretty simple, pretty easy. No fuss, no muss. So, I've got a quarter of a cup of butter. And we're gonna kind of do the same thing but I want there to be stickiness for my for my crushed pecan brown sugar so I'm taking this and I'm taking it and I'm just smearing it on you guys that gives me more stick to itiveness and this is exactly how we used to make our our morning caramel rolls on Saturday mornings, wasn't it, Harry? Yep. With the kids growing up. When you brush butter on, you don't get as much uh, surface adhesiveness as you do with the butter, especially since this batter is very soft. You know, it's gonna do the same thing that the other one did, but I'm not worried about it because it's all good, you guys. It's all good. It's all good. And any butter we don't use can go right on top when you eat these right out of the oven, warm and delicious. And the butter helps seal it as you roll it too. So don't be afraid of your butter. Right? Yep. Don't be afraid of the butter. Now, I'm going to take my, my mixture and I'm going to start sprinkling it. This has got 
powdered butter. This has got pecans. You can use almonds. You can use walnuts, which are delicious. Harry's allergic to walnuts. Can't use walnuts. He can have pecans, but he cannot have walnuts. It's weird. He he's walnuts coat his tongue with fur, doesn't it, Harry? Mm -hmm. Well, he breaks out big sores. Yeah, he gets instant mm. cold sores. Man, this smells so good. So so good. Let me make sure this is all spread evenly. All the way to the outward corners. Yes, indeed. We're going to try to start rolling this up. I think letting this sit for a bit was a smart idea because it's coming up much better. We cooked it at the same temperature for seven minutes, so 325. And you know what, next time I'm gonna let my dough kind of just rest for a minute because this is really rolling up much nicer than it was warmer mm -hmm. out of the oven. So cool the better on. Mm-hmm. You know what I think I'm gonna do with these? Excuse me, I need a pan. You're gonna have to get out. I think I'm gonna use this. Still soft enough that you can melt, you can mold it the way you want it to. Don't be afraid about the tears. That is no big deal. Plump it into the bottom. I've got a pan that I'm going to spray with organic extra virgin olive oil. So what do you do, cook it as a roll? Yeah, no. You still cut it up? Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to cut it up like I did the other one. And set these. Love pecan rolls. Pecan caramel rolls, oh man. What I like about par baking this, like I said, it feels more like dough. It really does. 
Then just take the filling that's left over, that fell out, and just kind of sprinkle it around. Sprinkle it on top. And you guys, we're gonna get these in the oven. Let me wash my hands, excuse me. Let me put these pecan caramel rolls in the oven. Check on the other guys. Let me see, will this come up one? Will that be too skinny? Yeah, I think it will. Okay, you guys, we're gonna put these in. And let those bake for 15 minutes. We'll check them at the end of the sausage because the sausage has to cook all the way through. I've got some cream cheese here. We get a fork. Let's measure that. this so five ounces cream cheese I'm gonna use the rest of this butter I need about two ounces of soft butter There we go. Let me get some erythritol confectioner sugar, which is up in the cupboard. Erythritol confectioner sugar. Quarter of a cup. Excuse me, Harry. Cabela Caramel Flavoring, Grimberry Farms carries it. You guys, there's a discount. It's Gremlin. Go there and get your drops from Rich. Yeah, the link's below. Yep. I'm going to put in half a teaspoon. About a quarter of a teaspoon. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon, and the rest is going to be English toffee, stevia drops. To give it our caramel flavor on top. So half a teaspoon of English toffee, quarter of a teaspoon of the caramel. Now I'm just going to get my fork and blend it. And you guys, we'll come back when we bring them out of the oven and we frost our caramel pecan rolls, you guys. I'm very excited though, very excited. Okay, you guys, I'm creaming this and then I'm gonna add a little bit of cream to this just to give it a little bit. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon. So this is a half a teaspoon measuring. One, two, just to give it a creamier texture. Cream.
cream, buttercream cheese frosting. Just add a little bit of, add a little bit of cream, half and half, whatever you have. I happen to have cream, one. So that's two teaspoons. Let's do a tablespoon total because I want it to be spreadable. And um, if you have, you don't have to use heavy cream. You can use whatever milk substitute you have. Get it the consistency of frosting you want. Mm. I think another tablespoon will do it. I want it really spreadable, you know. I can smell the caramel. Can you? Mm -hmm. There, that's the consistency I want, you guys. Okay, we'll come back. This is the consistency I like, and we'll come back when we've got sausage cheese pinwheels and caramel pecan rolls with cream cheese caramel frosting. Yes, indeed. Now, just to add a little bit more flavor to my sausage, we've got about six minutes before the 20 minute, 25 minute mark yeah. is up. I wanna put some cheese on top. Excuse me. Why do you always say that? I know what you're going to do. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't want me to push you around. Yeah, you like to push me around. Sausage is coming out the bottom. The Looks juicy, fabulous. Oh the my juicing, God. the smell is I want one like, on a plate. You can have one on a plate. That's your dinner. All right. How many do we get? As many as you want. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put those back in. Excuse me. Excuse me. They've got about five more minutes to cook. They look and smell delicious. Anyway, you guys will come back when we're going to plate all these and they're out of the oven, ready to go. Okay, you guys, the sausage cheese pinwheels have been cooking for a total of 35 minutes after I made them. And the cinnamon, the um, caramel pecan rolls have been cooking for 25 minutes. So we're going to take them out of the oven. Ooh, look at those. Oh. oh man. Get in my I belly. smell these. Ooh man, I can smell those. I can smell these too. Ouch, these are hot. Hot potatoes. Hot potatoes. Okay you guys, we're gonna let these rest for about 10 minutes. And we'll come back and plate these and do a taste test. But look at these, how beautiful they are, Harry. So the size, they don't fluff out anymore. So that's good news. You guys can get them all on here. The cinnamon rolls don't fluff out either. Those look absolutely heavenly. One thing I forgot, Sally, honey, I almost stepped on you, baby. Um, you guys, is I forgot to add a teaspoon of Molina vanilla to my butter cream cheese frosting that tastes just like what I used to get on my Cinnabons. Yes, indeed. Yep. So we'll come back in about 10 minutes. We're gonna let this firm up, then we're gonna move these over, and then we're gonna do a taste test. But I'm so excited because we are having spicy sausage and cheese pinwheels with caramel pecan rolls with cream cheese, butter cream cheese frosting for dessert. Yes, indeed.
You guys, I'm putting these on a cooling rack because they are have a little bit of grease in the pan and I don't want them to be, um, I don't want them to absorb the grease. So I am taking them off the pan and putting them on a cooling rack just to let them get cool enough so we can bite into this deliciousness. Mm. You can just pile all that stuff on top of one of those. I'll eat it. Oh man, these just remind me of what we used to have growing up. What we used to cook, what I used to cook the kids when I'd come home from work mm -hmm. and make it with Bisquick. I'm telling you, those look delicious mm. there. See all the grease right here and the, and the cheese. I didn't want them to sit and sweat on this, so I wanted them to cool off that way. Taste test time. Look at these. Look at these. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sausage and cheese. Pinwheels. Oh, yeah. Mm. How is that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Does that work? Come on. It's my turn now. You chewed. <laughs> Who made me laugh with food in my mouth, Harry? Okay. Yeah, but it's funny to watch it did come you out share? your nose. Look, did you share these? Oh. Yeah, man, look at those. Look at these I babies. took the crumbles from the bottom of the pan and just sprinkled them on top, you guys. Put a dollop of the um, buttercream cheese frosting and put some of the caramel and the, and the pecans that were out in the bottom of the pan. So you might want to sprinkle some in the bottom of the pan so they roast because that's a great deliciousness. Okay, Harry, I'll trade you places. And then these. And then these. These. What? They're done. They're ready. I didn't do anything to them. I took them off and put them on a plate. They're done. Done deal. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I didn't top them. They had cheese from inside on them. Okay. They're done. All right. Super easy. Super simple. Harry, I want you to taste one of these first. Oh, definitely. Come over here and taste. Sally, honey, you gotta stay out of mama's way. Can I just taste off of this one? Yes. Tell me if you can smell it. Cause oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Are you crazy? Yes, I oh. am very crazy. Let me see the inside. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, I taste that. Okay. Put it down. No, no. Shoot, put that down. We're going to do rolls next. <laughs> no, come over here. <laughs> oh, you just want to eat, don't you? You're just all excited. Okay, now, one of the rolls. Let's see, eeny, meeny, chili, beanie. There you go. Ooh, look at that big old cream cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Hold still. Look at the bottom. Hold still. Okay, now rotate it. Up that way. Well, I can't. I don't want to turn it over. I don't want the frosting to fall. I need to send you a rotation. Harry, rotate it. You know, like we're on a movie yeah, and, rotate, it's, and it's rotate. fake. And I'm rotating it. How about underneath? See the caramelization that we got, you guys, of the caramelization on the bottom of these? Yeah, we see it. <clears throat> well, hmm. does it taste like it used to or? Is it close? Mm. Well, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. I I remember them quite well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, my turn. Okay. The caramel pecan roll with buttercream cheese frosting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops, take a bite. Mm. Let me see inside. I can't rotate it. Quit smacking. We want bird sounds. Really, it tastes like they do when, you're, when, I, when the girls was fun. Doesn't it taste like the Bisquick ones I used to make? I mean, like real cinnamon rolls, real 
pecan rolls, real, the whole deal. Oh, yeah, they're good. Okay, put it down. We'll have some in just a minute. So what do you think? Oh, those are great. These are fantastic. Actually, this is great, and that's fantastic. I like them both. <laughs> okay. <gasps> That was, oh your, that was yours. Oh my gosh. That was yours. Look what he did. That was yours. Oh my gosh. Can I, wait, wait. Sally, honey, you cannot come over here. Wait, don't move your shoe. Okay, please hold for station identification. What you doing, Harry? Cleaning up your mess. What? What? Cleaning up your mess. That's yours, by the way. No, -uh, this was yours because you no, pulled it, it off. Not. No, it was yours because you pulled it off. Okay, Marty. Look at the frosting on the cupboard. We got, you know, our cupboards, because we, <laughs> we do, <laughs> these poor cupboards have had it, man. Here. I, I got to scrub these cupboards constantly, because Wendy's always dropping stuff <laughs> on <laughs> everything. And the cracks of the, get get on the tile. I, I needed a good cleaning anyway. Oh my gosh, you guys. Spray in You know, the, it's been about six spray months. Spray in the grout, dear. Down on the ground. I don't want her licking any of that off the ground. I'm trying to get it all up. Harry's doing such a good job. We'll be right back. Yes, indeed. Fun and excitement at our house. Full of surprises. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Harry, yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. wash your shoe. You got frosting all over it. I know, I will. And Sally's still looking for stuff. She's gonna to find it. I, cl I cleaned up everything. You did a good job. Thank you, dear. It warms my heart when somebody else drops something. <laughs> 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 and uh -huh. it's not me! Yeah, anyway, right. you guys, so much for today. We're going to go ahead and close the day out, you guys. Tomorrow is a regular keto day. Use your macros, eat healthy, nutritious foods from the do's and don'ts list, and move your body. Yes, indeed. Watch out for Sally, girl. Watch out. She's floor trolling. Yep. She's floor trolling. Anyway, you guys, I'm t I'm tired now. That I had to I had to move very quickly to get both of these done at the same time. But I hope you guys enjoy these. I hope you guys try them. Super easy, super delicious. These pinwells are. And you know, you don't have to use raw meat. You can use cooked meat too. I just did it the easy lazy way. Easy lazy way worked beautifully. So anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Would you like to say goodbye? Okay, she just did. What? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She says, Mom, Dad threw stuff on the floor and I didn't get any. That's right. I don't want her having all that sweet. Throw it. Mark set.